Hello everyone, this is Dr. Meher Shah once again with another video. In this video, we are going to learn how to solve unbalanced assignment problem sum when they have given you a question where they are asking you to find minimization under assignment model. In our video series on assignment model chapter, this is our problem sum number 10. Okay, I hope you all you all have uh, you know watched all other nine videos because it's very important. This topic is very important from the exam point of view. Okay, so now let us see how to solve an unbalanced assignment minimization problem sum. Okay, and try to get it or and we'll try to make it optimal. So let us see how to solve this particular sum. Okay, now let us see this particular sum. Now this is our sum number 10 of our video series based on assignment problem. Now, first we'll just go through the question and then I explain okay, how we have to go about this different kind of sum. Okay, a company has four machines and three jobs. Machines are four, jobs are three. It may it is not a balance assignment or balance uh, question which is given to us. Find an assignment of job to machine so as to minimize the cost. So it's a minimization problem sum. But the thing is, it is not a balance problem. Okay, so there are four rows, but there are only three columns. So in order to solve the sum, the very first thing what we'll have to do is we'll have to make it balanced. Okay, as of now, it is not balanced. It is unbalanced problem sum. So we'll have to make it balanced. So now let us see how we need to do that. Okay, so our step number one will be we'll have to make a balanced uh, matrix. Okay, we'll need to balance it out. So we'll write it here as balance matrix. Now in order to balance it out. Okay. So we will, uh, you know, make a similar, you know, a structure where we have, you know, all the jobs and machines given to us, the details of that. Okay, now look at this very carefully, okay. In jobs, we have J1, J2 and J3 and in machines, we have 4, M1 m2 m3 and m4 there are four machines but three jobs so we'll have to add up here one more additional okay we will need to add one additional what do you say uh, we will need to add one additional job so as to balance it out okay now in order to balance it out so we'll have to add one dummy column here so this will be a dj4 which will be a dummy column Okay, so now let us see how to balance. Okay, as I told you, we'll have to add a one extra column called as J4. This is our dummy column. Okay, so now what we do is we note down all of the values as it is. So we have 20, 10, 12, 26, 15, 17, 30, 19, 21, 34, 20, and 23. Now, this dummy column which has been created, the values for all that will be 0. Okay, so dummy one is not in existence. We have to show it so that we need to make it a balance. Okay. Now, once we have done that, once we have created the balance, okay, the next thing what we require is we have to solve in our normal, you know, logical way. That is first step, you know, so that will be row minimization. Now, for making row minimization, again, we will create the structure of our table. So we have one and we'll have here our second. Okay, so again we have J1, J2, J3 and now we have even J4 which is dummy one, M1, M2, M3 and M4. Now row minimization, we go row wise. In the first row, the minimum value is zero. So zero minus all other values. So basically it will remain the same because zero is the value. Second again 0 is the minimum value so it will be all the values minus 0 so we get similar values. Third may again 0 is the minimum value we will get the same values. Again in the fourth row 0 is the minimum value. Again we will be getting the same values in our row minimization. Once we are done with that our next step is step number 3 column minimization. Again, in column minimization, we'll need a structure, so we will draw the structure.
again the jobs is j1 j2 j3 and j4 machines may we have m1 m2 m3 and m4 now column wise okay the lowest value in the first column is 20 so it will be 20 minus all other values so i'll have 20 minus 20 is 0 then we'll have 6 10 and 14 in the second column the lowest value is 15 so it will be 15 sorry it is 10 so it will be 10 minus all other values so i'll have 10 uh, minus 10 is 0 5 9 and another 10 in the third the minimum value is 12 so it will be 0 5 7 and 9 and last minute is 0 so all the values will be 0 okay once we are done with the column minimization the very next step will be we'll have to assign zeros okay so we'll go row wise the row which has only one zero that is the that you know that zero will be assigned and all other corresponding zeros will get nullified or crossed out so let us see how we do that in the first row now there are multiple zeros so i cannot use that in the second row i have a zero so we mark the zero all other corresponding zeros will get crossed out in the third row there is no more zero in the fourth again there is no more zero rows are done we go column wise in the first column there is only one zero i mark that all other corresponding zeros will get scrapped up okay so now if you look carefully here we do not have an optimal solution so because we only have two assigned values and we don't have anything other than this okay so what we'll write here is i will write here the assigned value is only two and the matrix size is one two three four it is four so it the, therefore the solution is not optimal is not optimal okay the moment uh, the solution is not optimal we'll have to make a ma you know we'll have to go with a modified matrix so we will write in our step number four it will be modified matrix now again we'll have to create a table which is similar okay so chalo, same naming so it will be j1 j2 j3 and j4 and here it will have m1 m2 m3 and m4 now in order to get the modified matrix we come back to a column minimization table where it was not optimal now we'll have to select those row uh, which doesn't have any assigned uh, you know zero and from that row we will have to start marking out lines okay now if you look carefully here the first are assigned second third and fourth then have any assigned zero so we, we we check on those zeros and that from that particular row we draw a line cutting the entire column after that we try to find out which other rows are there where have multiple zeros so that's only the first row which has all the zeros so we cross out that okay so here the number of lines uh, do not match the matrix size also so the solution was in optimal so now once you have done marking all the zeros out uh, lining all the zeros out or crossing all the zeros out the next step is now from the unmarked value select the lowest value now 5 is the lowest value that particular value will be subtracted from all other values which are unmarked okay so 6 minus 5 will give you 1 5 minus 5 is 0 again 5 minus 5 is 0 10 minus 5 gives you 5, 9 minus 5 will give you 4, 7 minus 5 is 2, uh, 14 minus 5 is 9, 5 and 4. The next rule is whatever was the minimum value, that value gets added to the intersecting point of the line. Now there's only one intersection point, so that 0 plus 5 that will become 5. The rest all the values will remain as it is, so those zeros. Uh, as it is noted so a modified matrix is ready so now again we do the assigned marking or assignment marking okay? in the first row there are multiple zeros I cannot mark we go ahead 
In the second row, again there are multiple zeros, cannot do anything, we go ahead. In the third row, there's only one zero I marked it out. All other corresponding zeros get crossed. Now we come to column wise. The first column only has one zero, we take that and all other corresponding zeros are marked out. The second column has one zero, we use that, we cross out all others. Third doesn't have fourth is already marked. Again, what we do is we count the assigned values. Now the assigned value here is 3 and the matrix size is still 4 by 4 matrix. Therefore, still we haven't got, therefore the solution is not optimal. So if it is not optimal, we'll again have to make a modified matrix. We'll again have to create a modified matrix. Again, similar structure will be created. So this is the first sum, okay, in, in, in our entire uh, video series where even after the first modified matrix, we haven't got an optimal solution. Okay, so again, we'll have to do the same thing, naming, it will be J1, J2, J3 and J4. Here it will be M1, M2, M3 and M4. Again, we go to the previous uh, matrix and try to find that row that doesn't have any zeros assigned. So the uh, last row which does not have any zeros assigned. So from that particular row, we draw a line cutting and then we check all the rows which have multiple zeros. So the first row had multiple zero, we crossed it out. The second row had multiple zeros also, so we even crossed that particular line out. Now the next rule, from the unmarked, Check, uh, you know, select the lowest value which is 2, that 2 will get subtracted from all other unmarked values. So it will become 5 minus 2 which is 3, 4 minus 2 is 2, 0, 7, 3 and 2. Next step, whatever was the lowest value, add it to all the intersecting points. So here it was 5, so it will become 5 plus 2, 7. This was 0, so 0 plus 2, 2. Rest all the values will remain as it is, so we note down as it is, so first row had all zeros. Second add one zero zero. Once we are done with the matrix, okay, start assigning. First row may multiple zero cannot assign. Second again multiple zero cannot assign. Third again multiple zero cannot assign. Fourth there's only one zero. We will assign that. Corresponding all other zeros get crossed out. Now we go column wise. In the first column there's only one zero. We mark it. All other corresponding zeros is cut down. In the second now there's only one zero pending. Assigned it. All other zero get cut, cut out. In the third, again, there's only one zero remaining. So here, if you look carefully, the assigned value is four and the matrix size is also equal to four. Therefore, the solution is finally optimal. And the moment it is optimal, we can say that, therefore, the optimal assignment is M1 was given J1 job which is 20 M2 is given J2 job which is 15 M3 is given J3 which is 21 and M4, now there, for M4 there is J4, now J4 was in a balance matrix which is 0. The total of which is, you know, 20, 35, 45, 55, 56. Okay, 56 is the total, in the, is the minimum cost. So you can finally write it that therefore the minimum cost, they ask you to minimize the cost, therefore the minimum cost is rupees 56 okay so with that we were able to complete a uh, sum based on minimization which was not balanced so it was an unbalanced minimization sum okay so we had to first balance it then we did the row minimization column minimization the sum was not optimal we had to modify it it was still not optimal we had to remodify it and thereafter we were able to get the optimal solution Okay, so this was a uh, 10th video in our video series based on assignment model. 
I hope everyone have understood it. Okay. So with that, we will be ending this video here. Thank you.